Hi, Miss Kelsey. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I'm super excited that you took the time to talk to me about your upcoming summer camp with the arts. Um, so it's going to be like August 10th through the 14th at 9 a.m. to 12:30 p.m. or p.m., which is super fun and exciting. And but before we get into your camp, can you give me a little bit of background about who you are and you know the arts and what you've done? Absolutely. So I was actually born in Colorado, which is just gorgeous, um, really great place for like the arts and everything. And so that's pretty much inspired me since um, childhood, I guess. Um, yeah. I've always been making art and um, I really got into it in high school. I was homeschooled in high school, so I had a lot of extra time that I would use in painting and drawing and doing that um, really fun I've been self-taught um all the way through uh and then after graduation I decided to do teaching art um so I went to the homeschool uh convention center and teach art there yeah, so very, that's very pretty cool. much it. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. One of the questions that I really love to ask is, why are the arts important? Oh, that's a great question. The arts, are they're so important to me, especially because they are just an incredible way to express yourself and create something beautiful that was not there before, um, that only you can do, really. Exactly. Exactly. So let's jump into day one of your camp, which you're going to be talking about what is watercolor. So walk us through day one of your camp. All righty. So every day we're going to talk about an art fundamental or a building block of art. Um, then we are going to, we're going to break that down really nicely, be able to see examples, practice an example of it. Um, and then we have a technique of the day. So each day we'll work through figuring out this, a new technique for watercolor, and then we'll use all of that together to create a painting. So the first day is pretty much just what is watercolor. So we'll talk about how watercolor is made, and we'll learn how to swatch our colors and how to work kind of with watercolor, because it's more of a collaboration, I would say, with the paint oh, than wow. like you're controlling it. Because watercolor kind of has a mind of its own. Well, so it is just, water, right? <laughs> right, right. It's like making friends with watercolor. Mm, so nice. that'll be day one. Yes. Awesome. So then day two, it, we're the concept of color theory. Yes. So we'll be breaking down color theory, the color wheel, um, different ways to build a color scheme and how they all work together. And they'll get to practice that with a... Um, watercolor technique that's probably going to be very similar to the ones we did for the video oh, um, wow. earlier. Yeah, and then we will use that to, um, and another fun technique to create a painting of a little woodland fox. I'm so oh, excited. Wow. That mm -hmm. sounds cool. So then yeah. day three is composition. Yes. So composition, um, the campers will get to learn how to build a good composition, what that looks like, how to break pictures down and say, this is a good composition because of this, or this is not as strong because of this. That's and so they'll get to learn how to build it, uh, build their own compositions. Um, and then we have another technique for our watercolor. We're going to learn how to use salt with watercolor. Ooh and how to make that a fun texture in our painting. That yeah. sounds exciting. I'm definitely going to peek in on that. That sounds yeah. cool. Then day four is value. Yes. So value, we'll talk about what it is, how to use it to create depth in your paintings, and um, sponges, actually, for our technique. And so we'll learn how to create value with a sponge technique and then use that in our painting of the day. So that'll wow. be fun. That does sound fun. Then day five will be story. Yes. So whenever I build a camp or a class, it always ends up coming to story. I'm so obsessed with visual storytelling. And oh, so wow. we'll kind of be going over how to tell a story visually 
with using all of the building blocks we learned before. So we'll be learning how to use color to tell a story and composition and value and all of these things and using the little whimsical magical friends that we had uh, painted earlier in the week, the kids will each get to uh, build their own story composition with those, um, with all of the building, blo building blocks and techniques. And yeah, so it'll that's be really a, cool. It does. And that's another reason why arts is so important because they do tell stories. And that yes. is going to be a great way, especially for kids who are, are, are learning how to know themselves. They can actually tell themselves right. through a visual story. So that's, that's super cool. Thank you. Absolutely. So Yeah. So your class is August 10th through the 14th from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and if anybody wants to sign up for those classes all they have to do is go to our website at acbv.org and while you're there you can also see our policies and procedures with COVID-19 so you know that we are trying to keep everyone safe um, from our team here our teachers and of course our students so thank you so much Miss Chelsea for taking the time to talk about your exciting fun water class this summer absolutely it's my pleasure yeah I'll see you later thank you bye Absolutely.